Hi guys, I'm Salim Hedel and you are watching SHK Excel World. So today is the last part of the series on financial modeling with SHK Excel World. But today is going to be very interesting because we are going to create a very dynamic and interactive sensitivity analysis form. But don't worry, we are not going to do any coding. So this is without coding. You can very well see that we can select more than one factors and then we can also suggest the amount or percentage by which we want to change our assumptions in the financial model. And also, we can tell whether we want to increase the value of our assumptions or decrease the value of our assumptions by that particular percentage. So unlike tables in what-if analysis, where we only have one-way or two-way factor analysis, here we can select multiple factors and you can see that the results are changing continuously. But if we uncheck a particular factor, its effects are gone. So let us see how we can create this very useful and simple form and conclude with this series. But first, don't forget to subscribe to SHK Excel World and also click the bell icon. So guys, this is a financial model we are using today. You can download this file from the link given below in the description and follow along. For simplicity purpose, we are using a single factor for analysis which is or total profit after tax for all of the 15 years. So this is not NPV, this is not IRR. You can also use those factors as well. So we are going to create a new sheet and in here we are going to increase the size of rows to 50. Leave the columns as it is and we are going to remove the grid line. So this will be sort of a dashboard Go to insert and now insert a new shape. So this will be a rounded corner shape. It's a rectangle. Just add in it. So this is our first shape. We are going to remove the outline and we are going to change the preset to this one. So this is our shape. We are going to copy it and paste it once and reduce its size to I think 5 or 6 columns and now we are going to copy this again and here we can have it for this one and again paste it so this is our standard format we can change the shape here so this will be fine and now we are going to copy it twice now we can copy it directly so this will be red in color because we want to have it for decreasing any value and this will be green in color for increasing any value so this is our colors, we can select all of this and align it first. So this is our select object arrow. You can add it into your quick access toolbar through your customize ribbon option. You can right click on it, customize ribbon. This is not a popular command, click all commands. And now click S, scroll down where you will find this select object and add it into your quick access toolbar. So what it can do for you is, you can click it, select all of the objects instead of selecting one by one by pressing control which is very difficult. Go to your shape format, click align and now we can align it in the middle. So all of these are aligned. We can select all of these again and create this as a group so this is our group so this is our first format ready we can add in the different text so this is our profit after text which is going to change after changing all of these factors for analysis and Align it in the center, vertically, go to home ribbon, 
change the format to Arial Black and 12 will be the font size. Now go to insert and insert a text box over here and we are not going to write in anything here. Just click on it, go to your formula bar, press equal to and go to statements and refer to this total figure and press enter. So here we have our figure. Now we can change its font format to a liking. So this will be white. We do not want any fill and we want it to be Arial Black. So there should be no shape outline. We can select both of these and group them together as well so that we can easily move them whenever we want to. So now we are going to add our first element which is inflation. We are going to write here inflation. Again change its font to Arial Black and 12 will be fine or 10 will be fine as well. Alignment should be center vertically and we can also align it horizontally in the center. Now we are going to insert some of the form controls. Go to your developer tab and if it is not already visible, right click on your uh, ribbon and then customize ribbon, the main tabs and just check this checkbox and your developer tab will be visible. Now click on controls, click insert and click this checkbox and just draw it here. So here we have it. So we can remove the text. We do not want the text. So this is our inflation. We can just toggle between the two. And we can right click on it. Click format control. And then click the 3D shading for better looking checkbox. And for the cell link, we can give a cell link which is C2. So that it is behind your uh, shapes and it is not visible but it will be useful and will be used afterwards as well and press ok now insert a spin button again go to your form controls and click this spin button right here it's fine you can change the size to your liking right click on it and format control and for the cell link Give a cell link below it and this will be, let's say it's F2. It's F2 now and the minimum value will be 0, maximum value, the current value, let's say 2 and then the maximum value will be 10. So this will be a percentage based value but we know that the spin buttons do not give you percentages. We have a workaround. So for the time being, we are having the values from 2 to, from 0 to 10 and press OK. So we have our first thing ready. Behind this orange uh, icon or orange button, we can have our percentage equal to, we can refer to F2 and divide it by 100. That's it. Just click on that. Click equal to and then refer to your cell and here is your percentage. You can change the format so that it is same on the shape as well. We can click the shape and we can change the format to our liking, the alignment and the font size as well. This will be 15 would be fine. So we want it to be changed to 2%. We still need to add one more thing, which is the option button. Whether we want to have our assumption increased by this much percentage or decreased by this much percentage. So for that, we can again add in the group box. 
we can draw in a group box over here and then we can send it backwards but not now let us first draw in the option radio buttons on these two this is one and let us draw another one and this is the second one let us remove what is written in it we do not want these to be shown and let us remove the other one as well and now we can send our box behind the ship so right click on it and send this to back so now it is in the back we can right click on first radio button format control and for the cell link we can give a cell link which is behind this shape which is i2 for this one and press ok again right click format control and again i2 and ok so this should be working if we are in i2 so this is the first option and this is the second option so it's working pretty fine now we want to use a formula which will allow this percentage to be zero if this checkbox is not checked and if it is option one then it will be a positive value if this is option two then it will be a negative value so we are here going to write a formula that if the value in i2 is equal to 1 then it should be a positive percentage otherwise it should be a negative percentage so minus this one and over and above we are going to write if the value in c2 is equal to true then it should calculate these percentages otherwise it should not calculate and return a zero value so this is our formula done so you can see that the checkbox is not checked so it is a zero percent we can check the checkbox now it is minus two percent because the red one is ticked we can have the green one to have this positive one we can easily align the values behind or icons uh, to central alignment so that these are not visible so we can easily link this value in h2 cell to our financial model we can go to statements and here is our inflation we can press f2 and outside the index formula we will add plus whatever is written in this h2 cell and press F4 and press enter and copy it to all of the cells so now is the fun part we can just check the box and your value will change we can increase or decrease the inflation percentage we can tell whether we want to increase the percentage or we want to decrease the percentage so you can see that inflation is very much sensitive for this particular financial model and if you increase inflation your financial model is doomed so so this was the first one we are going to create three more and in the same pattern and you can just easily play with them just like playing a game we can do all of these elements so this is our first one we can right click on it and click group so this is our one thing so this is our second thing and this is our third thing we can group these elements as one including the group box i hope it works fine afterwards as well right click on it click group click group as well so let us copy these one by one so if i click this row click copy and if i insert it here so these are inserted now let us change this to margin or price let us say it's price first again copy it 
and insert it again and let us say that this is margin and again copy it and paste it and let's say that this is your capital expenditure. We only have to modify the cell links for each of these particular factors. So for this one, right click on it because this is now grouped. You will have to click it, right click on it, click format control and this will be your C3 and press OK. Again click on it, right click on it. Format control, this will be C4 and right click on it twice. Format control, this will be your C5. Right click on the second one on the spin button twice and this will be your F3. So I hope things are working. If I right click on this one, so if I click on this one and increase the value, nothing is happening. So the reason is that we have to link these one as well. So click on it. So this will be your H3. This will be your H4. And this will be your H5. So the fonts have changed. Don't worry, we still have this one. We can select all of these at once. Change the format to our liking and change it to 12. We can have it bold and that's it. I think it's fine. Now for this one, let us see what has happened here. Right click on this one, format object. So this should be our three and okay. This should have changed by now. Right click on it, format object, OK. Now right click on it twice, format object, and this should be your 4 one. And now right click on this one twice, and this is your fifth one. And press OK. Now see if it is working. OK, this is working fine. Let us check this one as well. So this is working as well. Check this one, this is working fine and if we change the values so that we can see that these are different values coming from different things. So now we just have to link each of these factor into the financial model so that we can see the impact in the result. So just go to H3, so this is basically price and go to revenue and let us see where the price is. So here is the price which is coming from the assumption sheet. We can press F2, multiply by 1 plus whatever the percentage is given in cell H2. So this is the one. Uh, we have to press F4 and bracket close and press enter and we can copy it to the rest of the cells. So it's done. Go to now sheet and you can see that your impact is seen. Now uh, the margin one, so this is H4. Let us go to revenue and in the cost of sales, here is the margin, press F2, multiply by 1 plus whatever is written in H4 will be our requirement, press F4, bracket close and now copy it to the rest of the cells. So it is also done. Now the only thing remaining is the capex. Let us see where the capex is. So here is our capex. We are going to press F2. Multiply it with 1 plus which is H5 cell. Press F4. Bracket close. Press enter and copy it to the rest of the cells. So now is the time to play our game. We can just check, uncheck any of the elements and things are moving the way we want to. So this is very interesting. This is sort of a dashboard. This is sort of an input form. This is sort of your 
uh, analysis of the financial model, a simulation of the financial model with multiple factors and obviously you can add in more complexity. This is way simple but I have made it simpler just because I want you guys to understand it how it works. So don't forget to subscribe to SHK Excel World because in future we are going to do so much with Excel and Power BI. Stay tuned.